What's up guys? Welcome back to the Auto Shop Life. I know it's been a while, I did a video, but I want to get one up real quick for uh, my Civic fans. Show you guys what I've been up to on it. Check it out. Shut up and sit down. Alright guys, so as you guys know, you know these last couple weeks for I'm sure me and everybody else been a little different than our norm. Um, definitely had some free time on my hands this last week. Started off kind of strong, but uh, had a couple days. Had a couple days where you know really couldn't uh, find anything to do other than work on my own project. So you know we got the Volvo done. You guys remember that video? Got that motor put in. You could see the old motor right here actually already shipped off so the guy loves it um, the G6 was already taken care of I did that one easy trans job but I've been putting in a couple days on the Civic kinda where I'm at with it you guys know the last video we were working on uh, doing the Bondo work you can see it's in the you know the prime stage right now I still gotta do some wet sanding and touch up on a few areas really not too much to see still a little bit of dust I gotta clean up the rest of the dust as you guys also can see, I took down the, uh, you know, the, the sanding booth, got that uh, torn down, gonna get ready to build another one here for the paint, but this is what we're ending up looking like. If you guys remember this side, I just sprayed some, uh, you know, aerosol. I'm just using some, uh, you know, aerosol filler primer. It's usually how I like to do it, but remember all the rust on this side, got that pretty much smoothed out all the rust around the windows, adding a bunch of extra primer to that, get that nice and smoothed out. And then on back here, there was a few little dents and blemishes we had to work with and fill in that I actually didn't notice at first until you get it down to the bare metal, which I'm glad we did. But the roof's nice and smooth. Driver's side turned out really nice. Where they filled in the molding there. But that's kind of where I'm at with it. So, so like I said, you know, been uh, haven't been thinking about the usual lately. The camera battery died because uh, just had the camera sitting up front. Haven't been making videos, but uh, getting back into this one, you guys missed a few things. It's the next day. Finished uh, most of the prep work. You know, did a couple more wet sand, little touch up areas. Made another. Uh, this one's going to be a spray booth now. That first one. <laughs> The first one was a sanding booth and a dust booth, but got the Civic in here, prepped, pretty much ready for some color. Um, just wanted to show you guys kind of some of the tools, obviously using, getting this thing prepped and body worked. You know, most of you guys probably don't know out there, but I used to do body work, you know, uh, back in the heyday. You know, it did it, it worked for a body shop for about three and a half years. And, uh, you know, I've always been restoring cars. You know, I, I do, you know, a lot of the, a lot of the work myself, you know, I'm, I'm one to uh, take on, take on a job and try to do it myself, tackle it myself, whether it be, you know, mechanical work, body work, you know, work at the house, plumbing, you know, I've been known to do electricity, whatever, you know, us being in the trade, us as mechanics, you know, we're good working with our hands. So if I got the tool for it, you know, I'm going to try to take on the job myself. And uh, I'm sure most of you guys out there are the same way. So I got a couple uh, body pieces here still left to do. You know, obviously guys, we still got the doors to do up there. I got, uh, I did pick up another SI door for the passenger side. I am not gonna be using the, uh, the passenger one that came with the car with all the rust and they shaved the handles. I do want door handles on this. So I gotta strip this door down, use everything I could use off of it. But I did score a nice uh, SI blue door. I don't know if you guys are catching it behind there. You know, still got the stock color on it. What a nice color. What a pretty color these, uh, these SIs had. But I got the rear, we got the rear bumper here. We got the side skirts. We're gonna be getting prepped. Um, kind of some before shots, maybe even for my reference here. You can see the orange and black. Whoever painted it black didn't even bother doing the whole thing. Salvage the rear bumper. You guys know we picked up uh, the new front bumper, the new uh, fenders. The hood, not really sure what I'm going to do if I'm going to go with a stock hood or try to rework the hood. I actually ended up uh, bringing that hood home, been working on it in my garage there. But there's the booth. 
We'll get in there in a minute, but I want to show you guys some of the tools that, uh, you know, obviously it took me to get to this point. You know, most of the prep work, obviously sanding, bondo, body filler, you know, more sanding. But some of the stuff I've used, obviously the mask off, just, you know, the roll of paper. And then I picked up some uh, rolls of the, you know, plastic with the tape already on there. You know, that's good for around the doors, around the windows and things like that. This mostly I just use for the glass. Um, obviously got to have your DAs, dual action sanders. We went at this with two of these. I now have two of them. I ended up picking up this one and replacing my, uh, my skill one that took a crap after only after like a year and a half, two years of use and not even that much use because, you know, it's not like I'm breaking these things out like crazy. So we'll see how the DeWalt holds up. Um, it definitely took it down pretty good. Part number DWE6421. And I did pick up two of those. Here's the plastic that I'm using for the booth. Picked up this at Ace Hardware, 143-1683. Just some drop cloth. This is the, the biggest one they had. So I bought four or five of those. And then your different assortments of uh, sandpaper. You know, all different uh, grits and things like that. Most of them are the, uh, you know, the hook and loop for the DA, the circle ones. Um, got the uh, 36 grit for you know the real knocking down the rough edges after the body filler you know I didn't use too much of this this was mostly on that passenger side that needed all that work you know it works along with these uh, this Duraplock kit that I picked up but you know all types of you know 36 knock it down then you head over you know the 40 the 40 and 60s kind of took off all the paint work and all that stuff and then you know started to finish up with the 80 120 150 and all that stuff and that's pretty much what came in here the DA made quick work of it and then finish off with your you know 400 grit thousand grit and all that stuff um, most of the stuff I was doing just by hand my wet sand by hand but you know did have a block for it to touch up those rougher areas but here's the kit I picked up for the uh, Bondo work it's a seven piece stero block kit model number AF 44 L uh, pretty cool kit I actually picked this off the snap-on truck he had it um, but you know the, the longer one Definitely helped out for, you know, trying to get those body lines real straight. They do make it in a uh, Velcro, you know, like a hook and loop design. But this one's for the adhesive. You know, you got to make sure you get the stuff with the adhesive backing. Sticks right to it. Um, you know, and you could also just wrap, you know, use it and just wrap the piece of sandpaper around and hold it while you're doing it. That's what I did with these smaller ones. But definitely a nice little kit. You know, they got the smaller ones and then obviously the larger ones. Three different ones here. I think it's a seven piece kit. It came with uh, some soap too, hand soap. Uh, not really sure, haven't tried it or anything like that, but got the soap in there. You even got ones you could wrap sandpaper around it, you know, to get those contours and all that stuff. Same with a little block here, use it as a straight edge and you know, that way you could kind of form it a little bit better too. So if you're following a body line, you can use both hands and kind of mold it straight. You know, not every piece of the car is going to be flat or straight. And then of course this one too. So it's good for wet and dry sanding. But nice little kit picked up. Definitely under a hundred bucks. Can't remember exactly what I picked it up for. Uh, Should have opted for the uh, you know the hook and loop one. Those those are probably more used and you know easier sandpaper to find. But you know hey, it is what it is. This isn't something that I'm going to use every day, so at least I got what it takes to get the job done right. I did not have this kit. You know, I was kind of using the old regular sanding blocks that you can pick up at the, uh, you know, Ace Hardware and Home Depot. You know, these do work well too, but, uh, you know, I wanted to make try to keep the edges as straight as possible. But, yeah, that's pretty much... Uh, it's pretty much everything I got to use, you know, of course, outside of the, you know, the primer I used and then the, uh, you know, the different types of filler I used. I did use Bondo brand. I did use that other brand I showed you guys in the video. Ended up picking up a couple more packs of that. So I'll show you guys what it looks like. We'll get in there. So we'll head on in to the paint booth. This one made a little differently. Um, I got to still figure out maybe where I'm going to put the fan and circulate some air in here when I'm spraying, but it's how it turned out. I'll probably touch it up one more time, wash it real nice. Um, still got some, you know, dust, sanding dust on here, but you know, it, it turned out smooth. And if you guys remember, you know, we had a nice rust spot here, a lot of rust around the window edges here, a couple little dings and dents here and there, filled in a hole or two, even did the gas tank, gas cap. 
and then you know filling in the area where the molding usually is this side I really like this side turned out real nice but this was the side that wasn't so bad and then you know they shaved the antenna the channel you know that little gutter channel that rolls through here turned out pretty smooth I mean you could feel a little bit of imperfections with your hand I know it's gonna show up with the black but for the most part, guys, it's not like I'm trying to turn this into a show car. You know, pretty much just smoothing it out, getting rid of the rust. It's a lot of work, you know. And I mean, I was prepared for it. I knew how much work it was. Uh, I kind of figured that I could devote more time to it. But, you know, with the crazy times and all that stuff, I find more time on my hands but wanting to take care of other important things in my life. But definitely want to get this one done. At least get the paint on it. Figure out what we're going to do from there. Even kind of just roughly got inside this channel here with the grinder. There was some paint chipping off, old paint. Like I said, guys, there was this thing has been painted three or four times, so had to cut through all those layers of paint and bondo and all that stuff. Had a nice little dent here that we filled in. Turned out pretty nice. Got a little wavy down here. Took care of that. But yeah, for the most part, pretty smooth. Definitely like it. Uh, this little area here was the worst of it, I'd say. I think I got it pretty good for the most part. You could see a little bit of my line work here. I know it's showing through with the paint, but you know the blast gonna really uh, blast gonna really make it show more. We'll see how it turns out looking, but you know I'm I'm willing to deal with it. I'm gonna sacrifice it. I don't want to spend any more time on this quarter panel than I already have. I think for the most part it looks. You know, 100% better than it was did look and is gonna look, but it is what it is. Like I said, guys, we're not trying to make a show car here, so that's where I'm at with it. I really dig it. You know, I'm probably surprising most of you guys. You know, a mechanic doing body work, but uh, you know, I had some uh, subscribers ask me kind of the tools I was using and uh, make some suggestions for me. But this is how I do it. This is how I did it. Use the uh, put good use to the boxes here. Tape everything off real nice and get some color on this. That's what it's looking like. I even uh, taped off underneath. I don't know if you guys are seeing that. That way overspray doesn't get on the new parts and the new undercoating we did down under there. I went back and had to uh, sand out the door jams. It was bubbling a little bit from the last guys. You know, definitely the last job on this wasn't the greatest. You know, whoever painted it orange did a nice job, but that black over it, you know, it was just, it, it looked like it was rushed. It was definitely rushed. So, not too much work left. The doors, the bumpers on this now, get the fenders taken care of one at a time. We got the trunk lid we're gonna be working with. Get this back together. All right, guys. Well, just wanna show you guys what I've been up to. Um, We'll see what it looks like when we get some color on it. But got to put a video out there. You guys asking about the Civic. That's where we're at with it. Trying to make progress, making headway. You know, hope you guys are all hanging in there through all this. And, uh, you know, just kind of getting by day by day here at the shop and at home and all that stuff. Being cautious, you know, staying working. You know, definitely less people in the area, but we're still selling jobs for the most part. You know, the jobs probably aren't as big um, and extravagant and profitable as usual but it's a nice town you know the people around here do have money they do need their car fixed you know whether rain sleet snow virus whatever it takes you know transportation is important it's an essential business so we still got them coming in just uh not as much as we usually would you know obviously especially this time of year this is usually my busiest time of year with you know taxes and springtime right around the corner everybody's getting their race car up and going you know getting their cars prepped for summer and all that stuff but hopefully it just gets pushed back a few months and then we can start rolling back into uh you know the norm but that's where we're at guys L guys leave your comments below let me know what you guys think of the civic build how it's been turning out we still haven't got the turbo haven't decided what i'm gonna do you know at this point i don't know if i'm gonna hold off for a little bit as opposed to, you know dropping four thousand dollars on a turbo at a time like this I could probably use that money for maybe something more important right now. Kind of see where this takes us, then get one. Maybe store this up, not really sure, but definitely want to get the bodies back together. I want to get it rolling on its own. That way I could use the bay if I need the bay. I could push it outside. I could go put it in storage until I decide out what we're going to do on it. But 
Leave your comments, suggestions below. As always, guys, like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and we will catch you in the next one. Signing out.